Welcome everyone to this next exciting episode of It's Not Easy Being Green Screen and here we are with very famous Spectrum game Death Chase CPC version conversion should I say by the executioner by the original uh, by Mervyn Escort of course this was a famous game uh, on the Spectrum by Micro Mega uh, sometimes erroneously known as 3D Death Chase but it's really just Death Chase it's the Star Wars Return of the Jedi um, hoverbike section essentially uh, with lots of bright bold colours and uh, it's quite good, it's quite fast uh, paced action uh, very simple, there's nothing really massively brain tingling about it dodge the trees uh, a la ha Space Harrier style shoot the enemy bikes that are dropped off by the tank in the distance it seems and I think you can shoot them I'm never, never quite sure, but you can only ever seem to shoot these things on the sides. But anyway, uh, yeah, CPC version ain't too bad. Moves quite well. Um, a little bit uh, stuttery and jerky in places. Very bright colours, very nice. So it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out in green screen, especially the crash sequence. Because when you crash, everything flashes in a sort of disco-esque kind of nutty m acid trip. Uh, so in green, that's going to look particularly odd uh, so let's find out what happens uh, we're just going to play through a few scenes here in color just to see what you just see the formula see the way the sky changes color there so uh, yeah it's a not bad not bad uh, sort of conversion to the CPC using mode zero to oh smack in the tree and I just had a fit with that uh, they wouldn't allow this kind of game nowadays with that kind of uh, effects going on yeah so this was uh, I think it was Ported in uh, certain regions by Ventomatic uh, in Spain as well. So yeah, 1983 this came out. So a whole year before the uh, before the CPC was even released, which is an interesting sort of thing. So I don't think a lot of people got knew, knew that it got a CPC release. But um, what we're going to do is pause the game and we're going to switch it to green screen. Three, two, one, bang. Oh, 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 where's the tree's gone? Whoa. Okay. Ouch. Whoa, that bright green was pretty bad. So what we've lost it? Well, we can see we can see one of the bikers very clearly because he's just dark. The other biker, not that tr easy to see, weaving in and out of the trees, kind of blending in, certainly blending into the floor here. I wonder if this is uh, how this would look in night mode. But there we go. Bang, got him. The trees don't look too bad. Oh, dear. Ah. Oh, that's oh okay. That, that's actually a little bit more pleasant on the eye. But then again, we've now seem to have lost the other guy. Oh, there he is. I can just see him. Yeah. So, so what it is? It's just difficult to spot the enemies now. There he is. Oh, there he is. Because he's got a bit closer. He blends in with the dark background in the night patrol, and in, in the day patrol, the other guy sort of blends in with the with the floor. Oh, that went all green. That went all the same colour for one second there. Here we go. So the trees actually come out all right. Um, that's not too bad. Uh, the um, front of the bike seems to have merged in with the HUD. Was that the same colour originally? I think it must have been. That's very, very bright. I've got to admit, the HUD at the bottom there, very bright green there. But uh, still very visible, still playable, but a bit eye straining here, especially when looking for that uh, second. Um, enemy bike there he is in the trees he, he's some blurring into the trees a bit blurring into the floor and then it, when when we change scene everything goes the same color for a split second there because it's obviously not replicating the color at the top and see a little bit of turning around here see how that works it's not bad it's not bad the um, I mean all, all the trees now look like they're on fire they're on green fire <laughs> it's oh that was uh, dodgy so if we crash again, we'll see how uh, fitty that is. It's like a like a green strobe light. Ouch! My eyes. That hurts quite a bit. So there you go. That's what. Uh, uh, I nearly said 3D death chase. There, it's not. Everyone calls it that, but it's not 3D death chase. It's just death chase. But there you go. Death chase on the Amstrad CPC in green. Yeah kind of not as playable as in colour as we expected and a few things are getting lost there in green but uh, quite funny to see 
Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time on another green video. Nova Bug, out.